Let's play. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 46, here's second and five. Now Prescott. Open man, the tight end Luke Schoonmaker. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4, six, 6'5, six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's Prescott. That is caught, Schoonmaker. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not catch. Those guys know nothing. Jake Ferguson from six yards away. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, th that's the, right? that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Aubrey good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 73, 73. Back to throw here. Complete, Smith has it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. That's good. Eagles. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. They'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. 63, 63. They'll run for the first time with the Eagles swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. On first and ten, it's hurts. Oh, Good news. Come on, Bo Billy. Intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47 yard line. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Oh. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Prescott. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And, Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And it's now 14 to nothing. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
Now Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Second down, here's Hertz. This is Smith with a grab. And they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five at the Cowboys' 46-yard line. Hurts. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 46 yards. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, that's how you see my old man talking about it. Usually, man, that thing's done. Well, no, they got the touchdown. It's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they locked it really well. No gain on the play there. Second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. It was Josh Sweat who got him down on the defensive side. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Second and five. 
to throw is Prescott. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. But first down, Hurts. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. You got time over. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. A handoff, Swift running to the left. He will push his way down to about the 14. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's second and seven. Sets up to throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown. Philadelphia. Cross Watkins. A 14 yard touchdown. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Elliott now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. Not enough at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at them, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. Oh, oh. oh shit, what oh, shit. Wait. What's wrong? What's wrong, Wait. Second quarter, Wee, two wrong. minutes to go. Tie ball game. You just sleep. We we you sleep. Yeah, you already called me stuff. Now second. My bank no. Yeah. No, definitely. Three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And that run wasn't just for a first down. That was for some confidence. They had a tough day. We'll sit out here for another hour watching the movie. We're going to go to bed. That movie is for these movies. They're about themselves. And now they got more downs to try to get it done. I just left. I just checked out. It made it sound like somebody's going to get killed. Nothing like that. Just, I. 
They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Play action now. Prescott. They'll roll him out right. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. And a loss of three to bring up four. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Running right, it's Pollard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Keely Ringo getting to the ball and handing them a loss on the play. Because his primary job is defending against the pass, you don't often see a cornerback making tackles in the backfield. But he's playing run all the way here. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Prescott to throw it. Escapes the sack. And this one is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. He was able to get away from the defense, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the okay? and that one winds up in complete. This is old one still, right? Yeah. I yeah. guess I do it a little bit. That's why I was on nothing? No, for two. Oh. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. <laughs> Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A first down throw for Prescott. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Scott. And oh, that would go right up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start. But they took the deep shot anyway. And fortunately, it winds up incomplete. This is just outside the right upright. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Boy, Brandon, a missed opportunity there at the end of this first half. You'd love to give your guys a lead going into the break. 
but this effort doesn't find the mark, and that's going to keep things all square. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. One second, all that remains. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. So they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Throwing his hurts. Wow. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to. But you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Swift. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better. And maybe there he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. Touchdown. vision on the run here. This one's intended to just be a straight dive up the middle. But once he gets through traffic, 
He sees that the open space is to the outside, so he's just going to angle himself out wide and win the race to the pylon. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And now they're in the hurry up. Prescott now on second down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. A big game there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a good basketball play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get into the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. Through the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. The kick receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They toss it down to Pollard. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, right there. The downs, it's not a very successful play. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Here's Pollard again. time as he's taken down right around the 26. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place.
They'll try to throw now. Prescott. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened out there. It looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. You're darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Uh, and that is incomplete. Back to back incompletions. It was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. score down here we go they're gonna go for it here on fourth down and we'll what? find the open man that's complete and they'll get this down to the 10 a looming decision to make on the conversion down seven but first things first they need to score as they come up on first and goal and they'll take it into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown Tony Pollard, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. A run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Offense looked a little bit discouraged out there. Play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have to lose his first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? To throw on second and ten. Hurts. Man on the left side as well. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 43. That would go 
Rodgers for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Hey, 73, 73. They will run straight ahead with Swift down inside the 40. Well, that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply the offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Swift again on second down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. Well, this defense needing a stop here. Got to have it. Third and nine. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Second and six coming up. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. Touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's first down. Here's Prescott. Oh, oh shit. That's Back and forth right to the And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and 10. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. They got to be cognizant here. Still plenty of time, but no timeouts remaining. First down. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. A that penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. No timeouts remaining. Cannot take a sack here. First and ten. Now Dak. That is yeah, that is and they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. Again from the 15, second and 10. <laughs> to throw Prescott. Uh -uh. Oh, this oh. incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take a full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. Focus is locked in. Gonna call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. That is caught. And he'll be taken down after big yardage. But folks, there is a flag down, and they're already walking this one back. Well, so much for the first down. And they could have, would have, should have had a first down, but my English teacher's not gonna be happy with this one. They did not. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. Here's Dak. Oh, my goodness. And he doesn't okay. quite make it, taking it with okay. an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Damn. Fuck. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game uh -huh. long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Second down, goal to go. <laughs> <And> he'll <go back laughs> that'd be the first. Losing yardage to the final. 
Liverpool. What a ball game this was. What atmosphere this was. And the whole team 